book of first peter Fungua pamoja nami kitabu cha Petro wa kwanza chapter 2 verse 9 Mlango wa pili mstari wa tisa. First Peter Petro wa kwanza chapter 2 Mlango wa pili verse 9 Mustari wa tisa. The Lord has come to empower you now. Bwana amekuja kuwatieni nguvu sasa. To give you power. Kuwapatia nguvu. Today your message has arrived. Leo hii ujumbe wenu umefika. It raises the credentials of the church. Inainua sifa za udhamani wa kanisa. The resume of the church. Sifa za dhamani la kanisa. So that nobody can dismiss the church again. Ili kwamba hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kulipuuza kanisa tena. So that you can dance and say wow we are the church whose god is Jehovah. Ili kwamba unaweza kucheza na kusema kwamba wow sisi ni kanisa ambalo Mungu wake ni Jehovah. We are the ones worshiping the living God. Ni sisi tunayemwabudu Mungu aliye hai. The God that answers he comes to us. Mungu anayejibu hutujia. This is to raise the credentials of the church. Hii ni ya kuinua sifa za udhamani wa kanisa. Now I'm reading the book of First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Sasa ninasoma katika kitabu cha Petro wa kwanza mlango wa pili mstari wa tisa. And he says, Na anasema, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a royal priesthood, royal priesthood. Two two hearts. One is royal, one is priest. Anasema lakini ninyi ni taifa teule ukuhani wa kifalme ukuhani wa kifalme ni maneno mawili ya kwanza ni ukuhani ya pili kifalme he saying anasema two crowns ni taji mbili one crown is royal taji moja ni kifalme no let me give you an example wacha niwapeni mfano the royal families on the earth jamii ya kifalme hapa chini duniani is very precious ni adhamani sana They are very special people. Ni watu speciali sana. When they come here. Wanapokuja hapa. Everybody will say eh, the royal family has come. Kila mtu atasema kwamba eh jamii ya kifalme imekuja. When they come you see police what security everything is arranged very well the chairs everybody everything is clean though everything they will remove everything. Wanapokuja unaona kila kitu kimepangwa mapolisi maafisa wa usalama kila kitu kimetayarishwa viti wanasafisha wanapokuja wanaondoa hiki na kile. Everybody sitting in straight line. Kila mtu amekaa kwa mstari nyororo laini. You can imagine the royal families on the earth. Waweza kuwezia jamii za kifalme hapa chini duniani. When they appear in the Rolls Royce. Wakati wanaonekana katika yale magari ya Rolls Royce. And they appear and everybody they say wow the royal family has arrived. Na wanapoonekana kile mtu anasema kwamba wow jamii ya kifalme wameonekana. And the vehicles are custom made special na magari ni special yametengenezwa tokea papo hapo viwandani everything is arranged for them kila kitu kimepangwa kwa ajili yao and then na kisha you can now imagine sasa unaweza kuwazia the royal family jamii ya kifalme the royalty ufalme of god wa mungu you can imagine the royalty of god Unaweza kuwazia ufalme wa Mungu. How special are you? Basi je, ninyi ni wadhamani kiasi kipi? Wow. Wow. So, the church is very special. Basi kanisa ni speciali sana. The church is the royal family of God. Kanisa ndio jamii ya kifalme ya Mungu. Wow, 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 wow. Then why have you lived as if you are less? Basi ni kwa nini umeishi kana kwamba muko chini? If you look at the royal families on the earth. Ukitazama jamii za kifalme hapa chini duniani. They don't just come with you and they say hello how are you? Hawaji tu pamoja nawe na kusema kwamba hujambo ni hali gani? Let us eat pizza together. Wacha tule pizza pamoja. Hello good morning how are you? Ati hello habari ya asubuhi namna gani? They are not like that. La Hawako hivyo the royal families jamii za kifalme on the earth hapa chini duniani they carry themselves with a certain stature wanajiendesha kwa kimo fulani a certain value dhamani fulani how much more na je zaidi kiasi kipi the royal family of god the church jamii ya kifalme ya mungu yani kanisa the royal family on the earth 
Jamii za kifalme hapa chini duniani they are separated from the common people the rest wametengwa kutoka kwa watu wa kawaida kila mtu How about the church? Na je kanisa? Why are you not separated from the rest? Kwa nini haujajitenga toka kwa wengine? Why? Kwa nini? And he says, Na anasema, But you are a chosen people. Lakini ninyi ni watu uteule. A royal priesthood. Ukuhani wa kifalme. A holy nation. Taifa takatifu a people belonging to God watu wa milki ya Mungu that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light ili kutangaza sifa zake yeye aliyewaita kutoka gizani mkaingie katika nuru yake ya ajabu let me explain this wacha nieleze hii he is saying anasema that the church ya kuwa kanisa the church the way he says it here kanisa kama vile anavyosema hapa that the church ya kwamba kanisa is supposed to be a separated people linapaswa kuwa watu waliotengwa separation is the key kujitenga ndio ufunguo two words maneno mawili separation kujitenga and unique na ya kipekee separation kujitenga and unique na ya kipekee which means different kumaanisha kwamba tofauti if there is sexual sin out ikiwa kuna dhambi za uasherati kule nje for you you don't have it kwako wewe hauna if people are struggling with lies out there ikiwa watu wanangangana na uongo kule nje you don't have it here hauna huo uongo hapa if on friday night ikiwa siku ya ijumaa usiku and saturday night na usiku wa jumamosi <laughs> Friday night Ijumaa usiku and Saturday night na Jumamosi usiku <laughs> Friday night Ijumaa usiku and Saturday night na Jumamosi usiku Everybody is driving to the night club to the discos to the clubs to the pubs Kila mtu anaelekea kwenye vilabu vya usiku kwenye vilabu kwenye vilabu vya pombe There is so much pressure on the young people. Na kuna pressure nyingi kabisa kwa vijana. Everybody wants somebody to take them to a night club. Kila mtu anataka mtu wa kuwapeleka kwa vilabu vya usiku. The church kanisa is separate. Limetengwa. She is not going to be found there. Halitapatikana kule. Did you understand me? Jeme nielewa. Separate people. Watu waliotengwa. Unique people. Watu wa kipekee. This is the message of purification. Ni ujumbe wa utakaso. The message that separates the church from the world. Ujumbe unaolitenga kanisa toka kwa ulimwengu. And tells the church. Na kuliambia kanisa, you cannot live like these people. Hauwezi kuishi kama watu hawa. It is time for the church to be sanctified. Ni wakati kwa kanisa likatakaswe. He saying, anasema, it is time for sanctification ni wakati wa utakaso it is time for consecration ni wakati wa kuwekwa wakfu sanctification utakaso this is the meaning hii ndio maana yake consecration kutiwa wakfu this is the meaning hii ndio maana yake he says put apart for god's use anasema iliyowekwa kando kwa ajili ya matumizi ya Mungu i have come nimekuja to separate the church kulitenganisha kanisa from the world toka kwa ulimwengu ha <laughs> i have come nimekuja to separate the church of christ kulitenga kanisa la kristo the bride of christ biarusi wa kristo the royal bride biarusi wa kifalme to separate her kumtenga from the world toka kwa ulimwengu the royal family of god the church jamii ya kifalme ya mungu yani kanisa the royal family on the earth jamii za kifalme hapa chini duniani they are separated from the common people the rest wametengwa kutoka kwa watu wa kawaida kila mtu how about the church na je kanisa why are you not separated from the rest kwa nini haujajitenga toka kwa wengine